War. War never changes. One side attacks another for one reason or the other. And when one party loses, they gain a thirst for revenge. And when they finally achieve it, the other side gains that thirst as well. And this cycle of conflict keeps going on until there's nothing left. Here we are, after our intrepid hero, the Black Boar, Vladimir, has been chased around, fought for his life, many of his soldiers slaughtered as an entire army of Landians chased him for weeks, humiliated him, kept him prisoner only to let him escape and chase him down again. But now, outside his gifted thief of Carbancer, indeed, the gift of all his hard work for Britannia, they dare fight right here. Even though they outnumber the Vlandians, the Vlandians and their incredibly powerful cavalry seem to be giving them a slight edge in the power levels. But the Black Boar has no intention of giving up now. He has risen from the dirt to become a true Lord of Britannia, and he intends to put his enemies in the dirt. There will be no more cycles of revenge because he will clean up every single Vlandian, so there is no one left to enact revenge. Only he, the Black Boar. And so, Vladimir the Black Boar makes his way on the battlefield to fight down the Vlandians that robbed him of weeks and months of his life, humiliating him. They have the stronger troops, but they do not have the numbers. Do they have the heart that Vladimir possesses? Archibald. The enemy is moving around and so are the allies. Boomer. Soon enough, it is time to throw in the men into the raging storm. Look Here it out. is. Vladimir does not have time to heal up on the enemies that are approaching. They must be cut down from their mounts. No heavily armored Vlandian horsemen will defeat Batanian might. They will fall like anyone else. Like the cowards they are as they face down Vladimir's true strength. The Black Boar will avenge himself! Charge! Traitors also get the axe! Or in this case, the sword! They will all fall! For that which they have done! Paying dearly every single last one of them! And then... When they are being defeated, they run away! Weaklings! Vladimir will chase down every single last one he needs to. Even as victory is at hand, he will take as many with him as he can! They will not know mercy when the Black Boar is on their heels! And those Vlandians which caused him all this pain will be dealt with, will be taken. These companions, followers, have nothing to do with it. They are free to go. They work only for money. And a man is even free. Two men even. There is only one way in which you can exact a proper revenge. Those that wronged? Meet the axe! Some say that from this day, the Black Boar was devious. What they should say is that he is just. After recovering from the last battle, Vladimir joined up with the army. The army that would take back Dramor Castle. Castle right next to Carbancer. 
they would at least take this land back from the Vlandians. A beautiful Batanian fortress put to ruin by the necessities of war. Truly horrible. The smoke filling the air even though the beautiful morning sun was present. It seemed there was an invisible wall stopping Vladimir as well. Wonderful. Fuck is this? Once more, Vladimir would approach the fortress, which should not belong to Blandia, and he would instead keep far, far away from wherever the hell that was he was to stand. So strike down on these Vlandian dogs. They all had to be put down. Especially as they were using siege equipment to destroy their advancing forces. The Ballistae just... Oof. Horrible machines designed to kill multiple at a time. This was not something Vladimir could let stand. Even with the sun in his eyes, he would not let it stop him from headshotting these awful, awful foes. They would be shot down. It was as if the sun in his eyes only made his aim better. This was enough. The siege engine was too slow. It was time to engage the ladders. People were shooting him. From where? From above, from below, from the sides, from everywhere. How? Batania, move out. He got it. Time to strike! Move, man! No, no. Get on those walls! Do not let these traitors fight back! None stand against Vladimir. But you're so and live. I give my life, not for honor, but Their corpses will litter the battlefield like grass on a field. Where's the rest of these scum? There's more here, and they will pay! Every single last one. Vladimir would cut them all down. None would survive. None would be left alive. And so it was. Dramor Castle was returned to Batanian control. Now a place for peace and prosperity. The corpses had been moved. The soldiers now guarding. Something that Vladimir realized though, was that even the enemy soldiers were just soldiers like he had once been. What he would need to do to end this cycle of revenge were to be killing so many young men that started out like he had. And so Vladimir stood at a precipice. What would he do now? Would he continue to murder his enemies gleefully, snuffing out every last bit of life of them like his enemies had done to his people? Or would he work to improve his country and improve the life of his fellow man. Hope to soothe the destruction of the land. Become a truly impeccable, better noble. Once just a little boy in a village, turned into a powerful soldier, into a renowned warrior, and then into a mighty lord. Still, the black boar was deep down a good man. He would do 
what he could. His country! Now, unfortunately, there is something wrong with this save, and I simply cannot sa save the save. At some point, the save will just crash from a particular bug that is undetermined and cannot be stopped. And it's very sad, but that doesn't mean that Vladimir's story has to come to an end here, because there is not much else he can achieve before the save decides to go push. But he gained power and strength and wisdom by the end. Vladimir did. And so, I would say that it is still a satisfying conclusion. He realized there's more to life than just death and destruction. And that is what he would dedicate himself to, bringing his people prosperity. That's it from Vladimir the Black Boar for now. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you next time.